Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. A couple of days ago, I released a video on how to use your contact drum kits in multi-output mode in Logic Pro 11, which it should also work for Logic 10. However, in that video, I was using contact eight and I got a lot of great questions. Um, so I wanted to take a moment and uh, respond to some of these questions. Uh, in particular, in this video, I want to respond to this question from PhD in Paradise. Doesn't work for me. I still only see the output channel in the studio drummer of Contact 7. Anyone has any idea? And so the reason why this is happening is there's just one extra step that you have to do in contact seven, I'm assuming this will be the same for contact six and five. In contact eight, they sort of automatically set up the plugin for multi output routing. Whereas in contact seven, you have to just do one extra little step and I'm gonna show you how to do that here. Okay, so in my contact video on multi output, I demonstrated that you can just open up your drummer in the mixer here, and then you'll get each of the kit pieces, kick, snare, hi-hat, toms, overheads, rooms. But what you would do here in the mixer is you go to settings, and then you click on the channel that you want to create a multi output for, and you just assign that output right here. So like I could send the kick to output one, the snare to output two, and so forth and so on. Okay, so if you're working in contact seven, there is one additional step you have to do. Um, so before you even load up your instrument, what you're gonna do is go up to view, go to outputs, and click here where it says presets, batch configuration, go down to factory and choose a multi-output format. So I'll just go with stereo 16X, and then I'm gonna load up contact in a multi-output mode. It's gonna reload the plugin. Um, you can do those two things in any order you like. Uh, you don't necessarily have to reload the plugin after you set your, your output channels. Again, you're going to go to outputs. You'll see all those outputs there. And then choose your instrument. So this was the Abbey Road 80s drummer that I'm using right now. And now uh, I can close out that mixer there, go to the instrument mixer, and I can click on settings. And then I'll be able to select what channel I want each uh, instrument to go to. So maybe kick will be two, snare can be three, hi-hat can be four, tom one can be five, tom two can be six, tom three can be seven, tom four can be eight. Uh, these two I'm not using. The overhead, let's make that one. The room, let's make that, uh, what, what did I have the tom four on eight? So let's make the room nine. And then all I need to do is create those channels here. So I had, what did I say I had? a total of nine. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll just rename these kick, snare, hi-hat, tom one, tom two, tom three, tom four, and then room. And then the overheads are gonna come through the main channel. And you know, the tricky thing about this too, if you already load up your instrument and go to the mixer, and again, you're gonna see that it just says master. If you then go to view and go to outputs and you assign those factory multi outputs, you're still not going to see the outputs show up here. You actually have to reload the instrument that you're using. So you actually have to close out that instrument and reload it again and then it will load up with those uh, multi outputs as an option. So just keep that in mind. There's that just that one weird little step you have to do if you're using contact seven and earlier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.